okay. So the takeaway message of this talk is in red on the slide. So uh, in May, when there was a kind of call for, call for papers, I told to my co-authors that I'm going to write a paper on OCaml workshop, and they've accepted that we are going to release this uh, uh, library by the time of the workshop, no matter what happens. So well, there are some always things to do, like documentation to write, examples to do, but we are going to release it anyway by the time of the workshop. And yes, workshop comes, and we have released. So although the domain is already, well, there was old domain, the content is new. So this, I mean, by hereby, I, I mean, I, know I publicly say that we are releasing this Streamonos library. And that is the most important part of this talk. So what is Streamonos? Well, it's a river. Uh, as you see on this picture, and it's actually not that far away from here. Well, I mean, on the other side of the belt, but it's kind of the same region. Uh, well, it is also a streaming library for single threads uh, in memory, fast and bulk image processing. So you write pipelines in declarative way, but still get memory and efficiency of handwritten uh, state machines. So it has the standard primitives map, filter take, etc. And well, here at the college, it doesn't, I mean, the world shows up. So it's also zip and flat map in any combination. And zip and flat map I emphasize because usually a lot of libraries either provide flat map or provide zip. Or I mean, restrict in which combination zip and uh, flat map can be used. It's very rare occasion that library, streaming library provides both. So there's a uh, this declarative interface is built upon the lower level interface, which you can uh, mix and match of uh, stateful streams. And this stateful, for using these stateful streams, you can implement accumulating maps, compression, windowing, and well, uh, uh, processing. And one of the uh, Im important guarantees, it's, I mean, it's not the best effort that we always guaranteed, is a complete stream fusion. So what is complete stream fusion? So if, each operation of individual in a pipeline, like mapping function, etc., runs without any function calls and allocations. Then the entire pipeline runs without any function calls and allocations. So, well, it it means that there is no inter intermediary tuples, options, and etc. construction and deconstruction. So the entire processing loop can run in constant, real constant memory space and even stack space. So without adjusting stack. So complete stream fusion is mainly a space guarantee. But in our experience, it also uh, tends to improve performance. Well, because you don't have to construct the deconstruct tuples. So some of you may be aware of um, the earlier version of the library, which is, was you know, already five years ago. Uh, so uh, that, as you can see on the slide, there are many changes. And uh, I mentioned a few of them. Uh, so it's completely rewritten. Uh, also, now it is able to generate not only a camel, but also C. And we'll see the examples of it. And it's restructured. So there is a core that does, I mean, most of the things that does fusion and I mean, uh, uh, all what's necessary, and the backend, which is a backend responsible for code generation. And currently, there is a backend. It's kind of extensible, so there is a signature. And to get a, a new backend, you just implement the signature. Uh, uh, and currently, we have two backends. So there is OCaml backend that generates OCaml, and it depends on MetaOCaml. And there is a C backend, well, generates C. So the core and C backend, it's a pure OCaml. It doesn't depend on MetaOCaml. Well, in MetaOCaml, OCaml backend that does it. And uh, we also changed the way of, I mean, I know, we thought of uh, the way how fusion is done. It's done by normalization, by evaluation. So, well, let's see the examples how it works. So uh, the way I, I like to present uh, Streamonas, it's like OCaml yak, but for streams. So OCaml yak is a, Ex, but OCaml yak is an external DSL, and Streamonos is the inter, uh, internal DSL in, in, embedded on OCaml. But like in OCaml yak, uh, there are two languages. So one language, well, two DSLs, one su sub language. So one sub language des describes, well, in the yak describes the grammar. Here it describes the streams or the pipeline itself. 
And well, because it's an internal, Stemonas is internal DSL that both sub-languages are implemented as OCaml combinators, but from two different namespaces. So one namespace, which kind of opened before, so there's a, it has combinators such as like Yota, Map, and et cetera. So they either build or, well, like Yota builds the values of Cstream uh, type or Map is transformed the value of Cstream uh, types. Well, Yota it builds an infinite stream from well one to I mean to infinity to whatever, and map will transform it. So should be obvious. So uh, sub language of user actions, it's well I mean here it's in red, and the way that usually we usually write so there is we uh, make an uh, ALS C, and so it's in a C namespace. Well, C stands for code, and which here it's bound to the meta camel backend. So, and it operates on the values of the type alpha, well, CD. And I mean, and this is not the, the way that we kind of write it, I mean, I should remind you of metal camel brackets. Although that's not necessarily metal camel brackets, it depends on the backend. And of course the type, it, uh, I mean, it operates, it produces the values type int stream. And of course, overall, you can see it's an infinite stream of squares of natural numbers starting with one. Uh, we can define combinator to sum the stream is, uh, is using fold. So the fold is a consumer of the stream. Well, as a matter of fact, library already defines uh, this uh, sum, but we can define once again. And finally, an example two. So we use the previous example X1, which is, uh, I mean, we can reuse stream components, add the filter to that, uh, take 10 first elements. So now the stream becomes finite and we can sum it over. So, so we can build the streaming pipeline incrementally. And uh, well, if, as I mean, if you use MetaOcaml backend, then you get this piece of code. As you can see that there is no, uh, well, there is no tuples, there is no options, and there is no intermediate data structures. It's a pure imperative code. You kind of see, I mean, how I mean, I know it kind of works, but well, anal and it's I mean, a uh, close analog of a camel yak. So a camel yak takes user actions and kind of weaves it into the complete parser. And this is kind of does very similar. So it takes a user actions like squaring or whatever filtering and weaves it in the complete stream processing program. But if you use different backend, backend C, the exactly the same code, well, you can even make it a functor. So exactly the same code generates, produces a different thing produces C code, which you can then compile and run independently. So there are many more examples, so I won't bother you, but I, I mean, I know, more interesting example is a FM radio, a software design radio. So this kind of, the, this is how algorithm is represented in a very declarative way. So it's a textbook uh, soft, uh, uh, FM radio uh, reception. So first perform low pass filtering on the incoming signal, then we perform FM demodulation, and we perform filtering once again to equal for performing equalizing uh, the result. And there is different parameters, cut of frequency, et cetera, et cetera, and taps is the number of uh, taps in the filter, which is 64, so it's a quite uh, large filter. And here is the uh, uh, demodulator. How it's implemented. So there is a well, com computing the gain, and this is window make for, uh, uh, make uh, window dot make window. So what it does, it creates a, it it takes the stream of loads and creates a stream of windows or buffers. Well, in this case, it would be I mean no two, creates a stream of buffers, and then well you perform mapping so that the stream of uh, buffers. I mean, uh, we map with a function reduce. Well, in that case, I mean, I know it just multiplies them all together. And then that becomes again float. And for the float, we perform uh, arc tangent and then, I mean, a multiply again and then let bind it. Uh, so, well, the two in this case is the size of the window. So, for this, uh, why it's actually it uses first class module because whatever I mean the code generated would depend on the uh, size of the window. So if the window is small, we use one particular buffering strategy. If the window is big, we use different buffering strategies. So it depends on I mean I don't know. We have several uh, ways to do that. So uh, I want 
well, actually, the uh, low pass filter and equalize are roughly the same thing. So we have different window, but instead of two, it was actually 64. And we will basically reduces the, I mean, I don't know, uh, well, slightly different function for weighted reducer performing convolution. So that's how we perform filtering. So I wouldn't show, I wouldn't uh, uh, bother you with a uh, C code, which is actually isn't that big. Uh, it's only 260 lines of C code out of which half of them are coefficients. Uh, so I'll show you the assembly code, which is generated from C code. So this is actually the beginning of the loop of the main processing loop. So you can see there are some uh, instructions and it goes, goes roughly the same way. Eventually, there are some jumps, and well, here is the demodulation FPA done. So that's where I mean, demodulation part. So one, I mean, and there are two things in this code. So it's a, it's a straightforward code. Here, there is no branches. And here, it's eventually, I mean, after many instructions, there is occasional branches. So it's kind of very good code to have. I mean, I know mostly straight line code, and there are some branches. And also, many instructions you can see start with V, right? So it's AVX vector instructions. So it's all the code is vectorized automatically, well, because that's the way how it's generated. And uh, uh, so it's, again, very nice feature. And therefore, in this code, when we run, we get uh, 10 million samples, 32-bit floating point samples per second. So if you use in hacker um, software ready, there is a hacker, uh, hacker board, then it gets uh, from 2 to 20 million samples per second. Well, what 20 million because hacker boat can do to, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, but for FM radio, for example, which is 108 megahertz, then I mean, uh, 20 mil, 10 million samples, which are off middle of the board, it's more than enough for FM reception. Uh, well, uh, speaking of performance, so these are uh, benchmarks. Uh, so they're uh, in the order, there, so there is a stream on us, baseline, and then seek, which is a Camel standard library, seek library, then iter, and there is a streaming called streaming library in, uh, well, that's not a standard library in Ocamel. Uh, so, uh, what, so what is baseline? Uh, so baseline is that we, well, I mean, I know my, actually my authors, they looked at the whole pipeline and just wrote the, I mean, I don't know, the best they could by hand. So it's imperative, imperative code. So it's not like declarative. It just wrote state machine by hand. So it's essentially the best you can possibly, I mean, do by human. And that's, as you can see, the stream on us is, well, quite, I mean, well, reproduces it. So for some, uh, for, well, some is just summing all elements, as take an array, convert to stream, and sum over the elements. You can see, I mean, many libraries have very similar performance. There is a sum of squares, uh, then you add map. Sum of squares, even you add filters and maps megamorphic. You have maps, but actually seven, seven maps in a row. And so seven maps in a row, then it's, I guess, too much for many other libraries to fuse correctly. And also it's, uh, there are some bars that are missing in, into, into this area because here, myself can so there is a here is a, a zip after flat map, a flat map take, a zip uh, zip file filter, and zip flat map, zip flat map, flat map, and the last one is run length uh, run length encoding. So these are one of the most challenging uh, benchmarks because zipping of the two streams, each of that can, each of which contain flat map, is the most challenging thing for streaming, and hardly anyone. Uh, I mean, I know. I know only one other library that performs, I mean, actually attempts to optimize this part. Uh, the bars are actually truncated. So, uh, so the maximum in here is two seconds. But uh, SIC library, which, is, which has combinators for every, well, has a complete set of combinators, can implement uh, all the benchmark. So, SIC, so this bar is actually goes to 37 seconds. So it's you know, well, like this one. Probably. Uh, but uh, some libraries which have a good performance, they provide either flat map or provide zip. Right? And very few uh, have uh, uh, provide both primitives. OK, so con in conclusion, so this is the, again, this is the URL. And there is a GitHub repository. And there is a, a, a 
well, directory try first, which is, I mean, a good thing to try first because it contains more explanations on how to use the library. There is a further examples of sliding windows and run length decoding and then coding. And there is the, all the benchmarks, which are, I mean, on the slides, including all the handwritten code and the code for other benchmarks and our benchmarks. So everything is in there. So if you have any questions, any suggestion, improving and so forth, then, I mean, please. Or oh, one thing that I should say that it is a GitHub. I personally don't have a GitHub account. So, uh, so if you have some, I mean, suggestion and questions, concerns, and I mean, or no, corrections and criticism, please send it to me or, I mean, send it to me. Don't do it just a pull into this repository. Okay, and that would be the end. Thank you.